five. I mean, I get it. There's a there's a theme to this bracket specifically. Ha ha, funny sex number. Um, the Aegis. Yeah. Interesting. I, I'm used to them playing like a very defensive Inkling. Like it got to the point where me and Matt, the random button Matt, uh, made fun of them on Matt's stream about how they don't approach enough. Um, it, it's nice seeing them opt for more aggressive options with a generally more aggressive character. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, compared to Inkling, it just just has the power to just get in your face where and just hit you where Inkling kind of has to play a little more passive because he doesn't really have the outer shield options. Yeah. Uh, to just defend himself if he gets caught. I think that as a player, B305 would benefit more from a character like the Aegis, not just because I think they're better than Inkling outright, it's just such a drastically different playstyle than Inkling. Also, when those moments when they switch back to Inkling, I feel like it forces them to think more about certain interactions. It's also just, in general, just way more versatile of a character. Yeah. Like, Inkling's got that combo game, Inkling's got that, uh, you know, sh movement, but Inkling can't kill to save their life. Diddy Kong with paint. Diddy Kong with paint. I mean, unless you hit a roller. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's true, but we, we've been doing the solution to that day one, bro, is block. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm really surprised we're not seeing a Pyro Switch. Do you think this is a part of the theming of the bracket? Um, uh, it's possible. He could just be on that Mithra booty. I don't know. <laughs> Yeet. Okay. Oh wow, that didn't kill. I'm surprised. We di those, except we don't. We don't. We don't regret ledge. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. Up tilt. Up tilt. Up tilt. Lots of. I definitely tilt. feel like yeah, they're getting mileage out of Mithra, but I'm. Genuinely surprised we haven't seen any pyro swaps. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it could be a, uh, a personal preference thing. I like I like lady with sword with flame. Yeah, I like big flame, thick mommy. And then there's Numa. <laughs> Numa's pretty goaded. But honestly, this uh, Mithra. Ooh. Serving serving B three. Fairly well, I mean, solid lead. Yeah, I, I'm... Up with I'm that. honestly I mean, not for nothing, you know, seeing B305 and Del Flair, a returning player, come back and play against each other. Um, I didn't expect this lead from B305 specifically, because just, like, I don't know how familiar you are with this character. Um, yeah, I get the feeling... To see Solo Winkling. Damn. Like, definitely like a day one Mithra. Only because they're doing the uh, B three is just doing the most basic of combos, yeah, uh, and just like a lot of up tilts into up airs and stuff like that. But regardless, I mean, this character is kind of just easy bake. You just do whatever you kind of want, and it works. But um, yeah. one thing I will say that carries over from, oh, that's unfortunate. But uh, one thing that most certainly carries over from Inkling to Mithra is the fact that they both both characters have incredible neutrals. Oh, no, absolutely. I, I feel like neutral and spacing are one of the first things you have to really get down with these characters. Um, yeah. Especially if you're playing Mithra, because, like, yeah, everyone makes the joke that, ah, ha Mithra mashes, but in order for you to secure advantage, you have to consistently be on their ass yeah. and deny them any sort of option. Yeah, just, exactly, yeah, complete option denial, just get in their face and swing. Just, Mithra is like a mosquito, they just buzz around you. Yeah, like, once you slap them, that's pretty much it, but, um, you have to manage to hit them. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get the feeling that B305 is specifically staying Mithra. <laughs> I'm just surprised Delphire hasn't really had an opportunity to catch up, just because even though we do... We're oh. more used to seeing that consistent banjo play. Mario oh, also was just his character. I, I don't know if that was bad DI, but that was, uh, yo, Mithra off smash surprisingly strong. Killed fairly early. It was like what, one ten? Yeah, I mean, it Mario's like not the heaviest, but Mithra like that. I won't deny. Didn't expect that initially. Yeah. Solid, solid game from uh, B three hundred five. Oh, Definitely. absolutely. There's a lot of a lot of uh, skills that you develop with uh, inkling transfer over. Like I said, with the neutral and whatnot. Uh, and I mean, not gonna lie. Inkling, in some ways, plays a lot like a Sortie. 
Um, yeah. With the gun, with the back, like with back air. And their, stuff. Yeah. their only option. I mean, not their only option, but definitely their, their good best, retreating option. Definitely their best option, especially in neutral. But uh, we'll see how Elf will retaliate. <laughs> Right. Any any predictions for our next round? Because um, I think they're gonna play on PS2. Damn, that's crazy, bro. I also think they're gonna play on PS2. Is it because they're playing on PS2? I think it's because they're playing on PS2. I mean, spoiler for the audience, but like you know what they say. PS2 got the best games. Yeah, PS2 got the best games. Even though PS2 got the best games. I'm not a fan but I get the feeling that Delphlare is not considering the theme of this bracket. Uh, not hey. gonna, I'm not, nothing against people who find Banjo or Mario attractive, but... Oh, shit, they, yo, Delphlare's trying to wild out right now. Two gold, uh, golden wings. Just to get back to stage. That ball's a very aggressive play, just to start. Uh, don't, don't you love those like little, little ladder comp? Those little small ladders. Juggle for days. You'll never touch the ground ever again. <laughs> I love you, PS2 plats. Delphler making great use of the grenade just to cover space and not let. Did down tilt just shove side B? You know, down tilt, down tilt is crazy. People sleep on. Uh, people honestly sleep on banjo. Nobody really played him since long well, since it came out. But it's a good fucking character. Underrated as hell. Because oh, there's a lot of tricky shit. Like, I feel like Delphlair. I'm not Delphlair. Uh, uh, Banjo. Oh! That was I mean, he, he's got good aerials. He's got nice bursts. Um, he's got decent weight to him. And he has mobility he's... options. Yeah, mobility options. Uh, is able to control a lot of space with egg and grenade. Okay. Just... Like, yeah, does not have to be afraid of being on top of Mithra and Pyro, which normally you would never ever want to be on top of them. Uh, but because he can just grenade uh, to stall out and just throw it down to cover his fall, it's like, he, it's a bunch of... Uh... Oh, yeah, that, that almost that was like a... Let's see. But, uh, yeah, no, he can use a grenade to cover his fall. I definitely think... That's unfortunate. B305 is adhering to the meme, but I I definitely feel like a pyro swap earlier would have helped significantly. Oh yeah. Especially. Oh no. That's really unfortunate. I know. But uh. Yeah no, I definitely don't. I think uh, B305 is sticking to the meme and Delflare is not. But regardless. I do think Pyro would be able to deal um, with Banjo a little bit better just because the floatiness will allow her. Uh, Pyro is floatier than Mithra. The floatiness yeah. will allow her to kind of keep up in the air with a longer sword as well. Uh, and Absolutely. also because she's slower in general, um, would have to play a little more patient and wait out those hitboxes. Uh, but we shall see. That was a very uh, unfortunate game, too, for B305. Maybe B305 will understand this is a resource and I have to use it when I feel it's appropriate. Because it's like you have a whole other character attached to you. That's fucking great. Yeah. And it doesn't, oh my god, like, speak just options in general. Like, Pyra's aerials have very deceptive looking animations for the hitboxes. Mm -hmm. I still confuse down air for, like, fair or, or just something completely different. And it's so big. <laughs> He has been blessed. My bad.
Sounds good. I am hoping. No, it's all right. If he does, um, we can always just play friendlies on stream. And dear God, B3, I'm saying this as a player, not so much a commentator. I'm I'm hoping to see Pyro swaps. Please, homie. Yeah. Pancake bear. Ah. Town and city, my beloved. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yo, you ever up tilt into up tilt? Bro, I love that. That's my favorite combo. Bro. Smash 4, Fox. Bro, jab lock into up tilt? You're not leaving. <laughs> Not for nothing, I kind of wish they played the stage with hazards. Bro, oh. balloon. Yeah. I want balloon back. The, the absolute serotonin increase I get from fucking balloon pop on town and city <laughs> is unmatched, unrivaled, absolutely sublime. No amount of me covering neutral Calling out my opponent's options could ever match that. Just popping that balloon, got the little on deck, perfect. Can we just talk about the actions, the APM of Delphler right now? Just the sheer number of things he is doing just to keep pressure and presence on the stage. Honestly, like even though- grenade, Throwing grenade, pop an egg, throwing out air. Like it's hard to deal with that amount of pressure. Yeah, no, absolutely. Even though, like, right now, they're even in terms of percent, I definitely feel like Del Flair, one for one, is matching all of B3R5's options. Um, I don't, I genuinely don't think there's a single wasted movement or option here. Yeah, I agree. Look at I mean, that. Uh, Del Flair does have to be careful because Mithra does have the quick options. You can just throw out a random option match like you just did, uh, and if it connects, it's like just stays just that high. No, no, absolutely. But, um, Banjo has that heft. Like, obviously, we're at 140. I don't know how much it's going to come in and help him, but, um... Mithra is at 132. If I breathe on you, you're dead. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a little more than a breath. Wonder what oh, absolutely, that was the... We call that the Big Bad Wolf. That, that's that true combo. That BBB. Oh, See, like, just the down throw is up I think that's, like, day one shit. Yo, Banjo aids, bro. Covering those options every time. You gonna aggress me? Nah. Nah, no, you're not allowed. Stay in hit stun, boy. That's the other thing. Banjo is, like, super safe on shield in general. Yeah. It's those strong burst options, man. Yeah. Like, jab pushes you back on shield. Um, you can just nair. Put your fair safe on shield. Yeah. That's crazy, man. He has so many tools. Oh, watch that grenade. Such a short timer on the grenade, uh, which kind of uh, makes it a little difficult to use. But man, Delphair Del Flare is so effective with it. I mean, it's not too bad of a trade-off, because it's like... Ultimately, you could use it as a tool to recover, or in like some niche ledge setups. Yeah. Ooh, wanted a spot dodge. Nice roll read from B305, catching him on a platform. Down tilt. So, so extended. What a just trying to get box. That ain't Falco. Oh, you're dead. You are dead. B305 faring much, much better than you would think just playing solo with Mithra. I know, absolutely. Unless I'm you do like thinking that. it might be the stage pick, just because they have a little bit more room to get around. Mm -hmm. 
and they also don't get <laughs> cuffed by PS2 uh, underbelly stage. The fucking yeah. the little T. Yeah. We don't get pineapple here, I swear. Mm. Ooh! Nice. That's a sexy two frame, hold up! That was pretty clean. 